Oh, you want to interview me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just, okay, uh, and, and I, okay, sir. Uh, uh, and you want me to tell uh, you what uh, what's happening uh, in all those? Uh, no, no, no. Uh, could you could you uh, tell me uh, some uh, your opinion on the situ actual situation uh, in Europe, especially what's happening in Spain and uh, the other countries like uh, Italy and Greece? Uh, we have uh, some sort of a desperate situation. Um, the uh, all these uh, countries have a massive deficit and they can't pay for their debt so others have to pay and this is uh, not so good for like Germany or Switzerland of course Switzerland is not in, in the European Union but we've been obligated to pay a lot of money We've paid like uh, uh, three. We've bought like 300 uh, billion euros with Swiss francs, and probably when we sell them, we won't get back any a single penny of it. <laughs> so, and uh, the Bilderberg Group is said to be responsible for founding the European Union, or elements of this group, coincidentally. Um, uh, we're driving on the European Union, so I don't think it's such a good thing to be pressured to pay billions of euros into a pit without end. <laughs> okay, thank you. And uh, do you think that uh, Switzerland will still hold their currency as their own, or they will go through the euro? You know, we we are being pressured all the time to uh, to do this and that for the European Union, and um, we have a lot of problems. Uh, one example is we will not have enough energy starting from 2018. We have a big energy deficit, and uh, so France will be able to milk us <laughs> financially for this because they're buying, uh, they're building nuclear power stations uh, to sell the energy to us and in Switzerland we're shutting down our plants so it's, uh, this is one thing that gives me a lot of headaches and um, of course the European Union wants that we um, that we take all their new laws and convert them into national laws. Um, that's what they want, that's what they are trying to pressure us. Um, but uh, I hope Switzerland will uh, avoid as many of, <laughs> as many of these uh, silly laws as possible. And um, we, we've done, we, we've given a lot of money to the IMF with bought so many US dollars, so many euros, this will really really hunt us. So even if we do not change our currency, our currency will be torn down when those um, assets that the Swiss National Bank bought um, have to be written down to zero which will be sooner or later because they don't want to sell these uh, the foreign currency reserve they they did not buy this because they thought it was a good investment they bought it because they thought it was a bad investment so but no nobody or not enough people really care about this and it's like Switzerland has absolutely no chance of uh, changing anything in changing the fate of uh, all those uh, other countries that are in, in, in big financial debt. Uh -huh. And uh, you have uh, some problems with uh, farming here because of some genetic modifications, uh, seeds and other stuff uh, which are some people are protesting against and asking European Union? Union? Uh, if you ask me about farming, I'm a little bit uh, 
I, I don't really know what's going on. I've seen a lot of movies. I've uh, I've uh, I've seen those chemtrail movies. I've seen uh, this uh, the world according to Monsanto. But I, I don't really know what's going on here in Switzerland. Um, I don't think the genetically modified food is our biggest problem. But I'm not really competent on commenting this. All right. Thank you very much, sir.